Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. I'm going to do a video today about dealing with your pain for E-Day. Everyone talks about this. It's the biggest thing. People want to know what they can do, how to ease their pain. You're going to have pain. That's the main focus and it's how to cope with it. Um, my E-Day, people always say the swelling is the third and the fifth day around that time frame is when the swelling happens the most. What you want to do is be prepared and try to control it before those days happen. Because if you don't have control, it's going to very much hurt. So what you want to do is my recommendation, don't use regular ice packs because they don't really form on your face well. Get frozen peas before you go out and get this procedure done. Get a few bags of frozen peas so you can rotate. 20 minutes on your face and 20 minutes off your face. Or you could do 10 minutes off your face. And if your doctor did not give you pain meds, most doctors don't nowadays because of the epidemic of, you know, people overdoing painkillers. But if you do have it, make sure that you're doing exactly what they tell you to do. You have to follow it. Do not, if the Tylenol is involved with like say Vicodin or Oxycodone, um, do not overdo it if you want to take extra Tylenol. You cannot exceed. Technically, pushing it is 4,000. You cannot go over 4,000. They say 3,000 on the bottle. But you need to make sure that you do not exceed it, including your pain meds. So if there's 325 milligrams in your pain meds of Tylenol, and here you go taking more extra Tylenol, you cannot technically exceed, I wouldn't go past 3,000 a day because you're already getting your Vicodin. Um, if you have nothing, you want to alternate Tylenol and ibuprofen. Ibuprofen first. Many people say, oh, I wasn't in pain, blah, 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 until day three. Okay, well, whether you're in pain or not, take something. You know, people that can take ibuprofen and leave, take that because you want to control it and have it managed before the really bad days happen. Because day three, four, five, and six could be your very much worst days that you could possibly do. Um, definitely want to make sure you do the ice, whether you feel pain or not. Don't wait till it gets so bad. If you have immediate dentures, especially on your worst swelling days, don't take out your denture unless you're taking it out too clean. You know, they say you could take it out at nighttime after 24 hours. I wouldn't because the swelling is so bad, you might not get it back in. There's no way. So if you take it out, you know, rinse, salt water to rinse, do some bends then up there to make sure, because you're going to have denture pain ridiculously when you do this. So the pain for me was more denture pain than actual extraction pain. So you want to definitely make sure that you're putting Benzodin up there before you put your dentures back in because it helps ease the pain and you won't cry trying to get them in or take them out. Um, but definitely make sure that you're well prepared. You know, make sure that you have your extra salt because you're going to go through a lot of salt. And you want to make sure you have your Benzodin. You want to make sure that you have, you know, paper towels. You're going to go through like crazy. You want to make sure you have your denture paste. Like I have Fresh and Bright, which is ADA approved. It's American Dental Association. You want to make sure that you're cleaning your dentures 100% really well. Because if there's bacteria in your denture and it goes sitting on your sockets with or without getting this done freshly, you want to not increase the risk of thrush and other you know, fungus or bacteria, people think that just because they're getting this done that they deal, deal with their teeth less. In my eyes, I do more work than I did with my real teeth because you're not just brushing your gums and cleaning your mouth. You have to actually clean your dentures too. So you're actually doing twice the work than you originally did. But when you first get this done, don't automatically feel defeated because people are like, oh, you know, I heard you don't eat for a year. Well, that's not true because I eat whatever I want after three weeks. You know, you're, of course, going to have pain. So the first week, yeah, definitely eat soft foods. But if you choose to eat something a little harder, like if you want to do like a crock pot, slow cook, you know, a meat, and it's like literally falls apart, you know, when it's done, you could do that. But make sure you eat slowly. Don't go thinking you're going to chomp it down and you'll be done in 10 minutes. Small bites take your time because you have to toughen up your gums. So it takes time to eat. But don't feel defeated. If you go into this negatively, negative will happen. You will see every little negative you possibly can. You've got to go in this taking one day at a time and being positive that you just took care of your health, that you could have died. With this, I had a bad infection due to an autoimmune suppressant. All my top teeth had to come out. So I had to um, lose everything. And yeah, I could have definitely been negative with all this. I could have, but I take one day at a time. 
and I took care of my health. And if I didn't do what I did, I would have died. So you got to think that you're doing something what's best for you. You're getting a smile that you've always wanted. Work with your dentist. Make sure he knows when you do your permanent dentures, your do's and your don'ts and what you like and what you don't like. So you can get the smile you want. But don't go into this defeated. There is going to be pain. But if you control it, the second it happens and you start taking the meds they give you, if they give you antibiotics or not, make sure you do salt, warm water. When you first get it done, do salt, warm water like three to five times a day. And always do it after you're done eating because food will get lodged, whether it's mashed potatoes, oatmeal, it doesn't matter. Everything will get stuck in your sockets, but gently rinse out your mouth. Don't go swishing like you have your normal teeth because if you dislodge a clot, you will get dry socket and that is the most painful dental thing that could possibly happen to you. And it takes a very long time to recover from. So you want to make sure that you swoosh very gently. Be very safe and cautious. You know, if you keep up with good mouth hygiene and you just got to be prepared. So make sure when you go out, you get, you know, a regular soft bristle brush you can use for your dentures. The denture toothbrush itself is really hard, really, really hard. So I was always afraid to use it because it sounds like it's scraping the crap out of the denture. And that's not what I want. So soft bristle brush is fine. And, you know, you clean your dentures. I do mine twice a day, morning and at night. Bacteria sits in the water. And just know that you cannot use adhesive at all until your sockets are completely healed. If you get adhesive inside your sockets, they can get infected. Things get stuck in there because there's no lot of water getting to the adhesive. So it's not going to melt away. Bacteria sits and it will get infected. You can, however, put it on your palate. You can definitely put powder adhesive or even a little bit of paste adhesive and just pop it in and keep your dentures secure if they are loose. But I would definitely wait till after a week unless they're super loose in your mouth. Then you can definitely put it on your palate, but not your socket for quite a while. I didn't really start using paste um, until about a month in because my sockets were very slow healing due to my autoimmune like wickedly slow, especially my canines and my back molars took forever. They're still not even fully healed and it'll be three months next week. So time does fly. I couldn't believe that three months have passed by, but you need to not be defeated. So you need to go out, go get frozen peas, make sure you have enough salt for your salt or water rinses. Make sure you, you know, use a denture cup. You can easily get it at Rite Aid for like four bucks. You can get off Amazon and walmart.com and Especially with what's going on right now, nobody can really leave their house. You want to make sure you get denture paste. You want to get polydent, um, the drop-ins, antibacterial. They'll clean out your denture, especially what's going on. You want to make sure the bacteria is gone. I do want to let people know that you will have, like, um, forgot the technical term, but there's a film that goes over your sockets and your gums when you first get this done. It is disgusting. Yes, we've all been through it. Um, when you actually take out your denture, you'll feel all the slimy, gooey, crappy stuff on it and in your mouth. And you might even get a weird taste to it. Oh, it's called biofilm. And that's all the bad coming out of your sockets. That's your body healing itself. It is not bad. Do not flip out. Just make sure you salt warm water, rinse your mouth, keep everything nice and clean, and you will be perfectly fine. But you can alternate Tylenol and ibuprofen. One's every four hours, one's every six hours. So if you're going to take Tylenol and it's not working, say, you know, three hours in, take your ibuprofen. Write down the hours of when you start everything so you don't overtake things and you don't destroy your liver in the process. So I would not go past 3,000, 3,500 milligrams of Tylenol a day and make sure you follow what your dentist has. Do not be afraid to ask questions. You can always comment below in here and ask me anything you want. Whatever I didn't cover, I will definitely help you. So again, you want to get Benzodent. Polydent, fresh and bright, because that's a denture paste. You want your soft bristle brush. You need to do salt, warm water rinses and frozen peas. Frozen peas, the little peas are like little beads that form directly wherever you want it. And it helps a great deal. So please go out and buy the stuff and don't be afraid. Take one day at a time and you will get through this and it'll be easy and you have nothing to worry about. I am 33 years old with a top denture and getting a bottom partial. My jaw has to heal from being broken, from getting one of my teeth out. So I waited to do the partial until that fully heals. Probably won't get it till the summer, which is fine. I don't care. But my eight bottom teeth are completely mine. Um, if you guys have any questions, again, just comment below. I hope you guys have a great day. God bless and stay safe.